Hi everyone, this is Lori Whitlock. If you're a Silhouette Studio user running a Mac computer, this is a video you won't want to miss. I will be showing you how to use the extra characters and swashes that are called glyphs found in many of the beautiful fonts that you can buy these days. First of all, you need to make sure that Silhouette Studio is not running. The next thing you need to do is install the font on your computer system. In order to do this, we're going to use a program called FontBook on a Mac. It's a program that comes free and pre-installed on your computer. You'll find it in your Applications folder. So navigate to your Applications folder and double-click FontBook. So that will open um, the FontBook program, and then you'll need to locate the fonts that you have purchased. I purchased a bundle called a Calligraphy Fonts Bundle from fontbundles.net. And I have two fonts here that I'm going to drag over into this window and it will go ahead and install those on my system. So now those fonts, if you hit the little triangle to the right hand to the left hand side, you'll you can click on the regular version of each. And as you use this scroll button here, or this scroll um, handle, you can scroll down and see all of the characters in the font. There are hundreds of them. And you'll see another little scroll. Uh, bar here on the side and that controls the size so if you want to see the glyphs a little bit bigger you can pull that up and you can pull that down to make them smaller. So now that we have both of those fonts available and you can see the ornaments offers all of these cute little designs. So now that we have all of those um, available we'll go ahead and launch Silhouette Studio. So now that I have Silhouette Studio open I'm going to close this little sidebar here the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and type my words. So I'm going to click my little um, text tool here on the left and type my, and then I'm going to make another text um, block that says mother, capital M-O-T-H-E-R, and then an, a third one that says friend. Okay, and now I'm going to select all of those and I'm going to choose the font that I want to use and it's called Michael. So now all of those are um, the same font called Michael. I'm going to scale that up a little bit so we can see it on the screen a little bit better. So right now it's still in text mode. I haven't um, ungrouped anything. We can still manipulate it. You want to make sure you don't ungroup anything. Now we're going to go back over to font book and I'm going to select um, a different Y and a different F. So let's go back to font book and we'll choose the characters that we want. So this is the F that I want to select. It's located right after all of the regular characters and the numbers. And I'm going to click it and go to Edit and Copy. You can also see the Quick Key is Command C. So copy it and then we'll go back to Silhouette Studio and use my text tool. And we're going to highlight that word or that letter and press Command V or go to Edit and Paste. And that will put our really cool F in there with the swash on it. Okay, so then we're going to go back to font book and choose our Y that we want. I want one that has a little bit more of a curl on the tail here. Okay, so in font book, this is the Y that I like. So I go up to edit and copy and then back to silhouette, double click and highlight that Y and paste, command V, or edit down to paste, and we can get our cute little Y with our cute tail on it there. So um, the other thing I wanna put in is a cute little ornament. So let's go back to font book and go down to Michael Ornaments. Now this is a different font called Michael Ornaments, so let's make sure we specify the right font. Let's copy that one and go back to Silhouette, and then we need to make a new text box out here and paste. And you can see that it's giving me an uppercase A. That's not what I want. I need to go over to, let's highlight it so we can change the font, go over to your textile and choose Michael. And you, it's not regular Michael, we have to go down to Michael Ornaments. And that gives us this cute little and. Okay, so now we have all the pieces. Um, I actually want one more thing. There's a cute little heart in the ornaments that I want to go grab. So let's grab this little solid looking heart here and copy it and go over to Silhouette. And again, we'll make another text box and paste. And this is the way you can do this if you don't type your words and select your font first. You can go back and specify the font later, if that makes sense. So um, if you forget to 
type everything out first, you can always specify it later. So you can see that that has changed to this cute little heart that I wanted. So now I'm going to start my composition of my word art that I want here. I have everything pretty much the way I would like it. I just need to change the sizing and things. So I'm going to scale up mother and friend. Actually, I'm going to scale them together so that they're about the same size. And we'll do something like that. And then I'm going to move mother so that that T is just kind of coming into the Y here. I'm going to move friend into a nice comfortable position here under mother. Kind of fits up into this area and the D kind of comes behind the R there. Um, I have my heart and my and and I'm going to put my and in here and kind of scale that up until it looks about right. Something like that looks good. Just a hair bigger. And then I'm going to put my heart up here. And I'm going to rotate that just a little bit. It seems just a little bit odd to me there. So we'll move that into here. And I'm also going to copy and paste that heart again. And I'm going to put another one down here. And I think I'll um, flip that. So object. And let's see. Rotate mirror. Let's flip horizontally and then rotate it just a little bit like that. Okay, we'll move that into place. And I have my artwork pretty much the way I want it. Um, what I need to do next is go ahead and weld it together so that it all stays together. And I'm going to scale that up so you can see that a little bit better. And then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and colorize it. I'm going to choose all the lettering, everything except for the hearts. And um, I, I'm going to group that together because I can see separate little boxes. So I'm going to hit Command G. You can see all my lettering is going to stay together now. And I'm going to go ahead and colorize that mm, a pink color. Maybe something a little brighter, something like that. And then the hearts. I'm going to colorize, actually I'm going to go ahead and group those as well, and I'll colorize those red. So there's our cute little word art, and you have now learned how to go and grab the glyphs from Fontbook and use those on your Mac. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you find it helpful. And I will make this file that I've just created here um, free in the blog post. So I hope you go check out the blog post, and I hope you enjoy this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.